Hey guys, in this video, we'll be taking a look at every Star-Lord minifigure that's ever been released by LEGO. This started way back in 2014 with the first Guardians movie, and will go all the way up to Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 in 2023. It's hard to imagine LEGO making any more Star-Lord figures unless they add Guardian sets to the Infinity Saga, which as we move on from the Guardians, it's a wonder if we'll get more. I hope so, but in any case, let's go ahead and break down the ones that we have gotten so far. So the first minifigure is the Star-Lord from the opening of the first Guardians of the Galaxy film. This is where he has his Ravager jacket on, and of course he's got his satchel in the back where you can see the imprint from the orb that he steals at the beginning of the movie. I've always had a soft spot for this figure just because I remember buying this set before I went off to college, and it was one of the last sets I built while living with my parents. So that was really, really awesome and super nostalgic. The other thing I think that's worth talking about is how random Guardians of the Galaxy was in 2014. You know, now we've had almost a decade to know and love these characters, but back then, I bought this Lego set, I think, before I even saw the movie, so I had no context for what this figure was or anything. So, he did have a ton of detail on the torso with all those printed buttons, and again, the satchel he's wearing, and I love how the print continues down onto the legs to show that it's a trench coat. I sure wish there was printing on the sides of the legs or dull molding, but way back in 2014, that was like barely even a thing, if at all. Now, it was cool that he had the helmet piece here that was molded for his head. Both sets that included Star-Lord from the first Guardians movie came with this helmet, so we're going to look at it again in a moment. But if we lift it up, you could see that he's got this head, which is what they used to use for Chris Pratt, and then eventually they used it for the Winter Soldier. It was also used on Owen Grady back in the day, but as you can see, it's just kind of this, like, tough old hair, and he's got an angry face on the other side. We're going to see quite a few figures that have this, and the other thing to mention is that he came with these little, like, translucent pieces, so you could kind of have him, like, flying around with his rocket boosters, but anyways, it's a very cool figure and definitely one that's aged pretty well over the years. We got another variant of Star-Lord in 2014, and this was the clothes jacket version from the final battle in the end of the movie. Now, this one was cool. It did have the same legs that came on Gamora and Drax as well, so the only thing exclusive here is the torso, because as I mentioned, that helmet came in the other sets from the wave, and if we lift that up, you can see that he's got that Chris Pratt head that we mentioned before. So, really, it's just an exclusive torso this time around, but it does look really good, and I feel like it's worth mentioning, too, that the guns he has here are guns that were molded specifically for this character. They have shown up in other sets for other applications, but they were definitely designed to be Star-Lord's guns, and it's pretty cool that Guardians of the Galaxy in 2014 got so many unique molded pieces like this helmet, Groot's body, Rocket, and so many others. From 2014, we did not get another Star-Lord minifig until three years later in 2017. This is the Star-Lord from the opening of Volume 2, where you can see he's got a little brick-built jetpack on the back. He's got those guns we were just talking about a moment ago, and he uses these tactical legs, which were used on other characters like Hawkeye and, heck, even Gamora from the same set. But the big standout here, of course, is the helmet. The helmet is such a nice upgrade from the Volume 1 helmet, but the crazy thing is, this this helmet in this set would be the last time LEGO ever offered us a Star-Lord helmet in a set, so that is pretty crazy. I love the detailing on this, and it's pretty sad we never got another one for Peter Quill after that. If we lift it up, you can see he does have that same Chris Pratt head from before. They hadn't updated it yet to the one that really looks like him, which we'll see just uh, shortly here, but the biggest gripe about this figure, of course, is the torso, because in the film, he's wearing like a red like sweater I guess you would call it and it's certainly not gray so a lot of Lego sets are based off of concept art so maybe it was gray in the concept art but it's definitely not accurate to what's in the final film and if we flip that around you can see that there's printing for his jetpack on the back now the one thing about this is the only thing exclusive here was the helmet because the torso was used on Gamora as were the legs on other characters, as mentioned, and we've still got the same head from before, so the only exclusive piece here is the helmet, and man, if it isn't a great piece in its own right. And I'm just now realizing that I put the wrong hair on that figure. He's supposed to have this kind of swept back Captain America hair, but regardless, everything else I said is still true. 
Okay, so changing outfits from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 in 2017, we also got this version of Star Wars with the open jacket and kind of like the t-shirt or sweater on underneath. Unfortunately, this isn't accurate either because he has like a shirt that has some kind of logo on it, which definitely isn't what this is. So again, one of those concept art things that did not translate very well. And if you look on Bricklink, technically there's two entries for this because Bricklink counts when they have a jetpack or accessory as a new minifig. That doesn't count to me, but the one in Aisha's Revenge had this jetpack on, and then if we lift that up, you can see that there is a little bit of printing on the back, which is actually pretty nice, and the version without printing is the one that came in the Thanos Ultimate Battle the following year in 2018. Regardless, it is still a nice figure. I'm surprised it hasn't gone up in value very much, but I attribute that to it not being very screen accurate, so definitely a cool figure, but the best is yet to come. The strangest inclusion on the list is the Mighty Micros Star Lord. This was a short-lived theme where we got these cartoonized characters that came in like little racers against each other. And this Star Lord had the mask printed on the face. So technically, yeah, we did get the mask one more time. But he's got that swept back hair, the cartoonized torso with some printing on the back, and a really cartoony face on the other side of the head. I mean, this isn't awful, but it's definitely my least favorite in this entire lineup. In 2020, they finally used the Chris Pratt head for the character. This head was debuted on Owen Grady from Jurassic World and has come in like literally dozens of sets at this point, but it appeared for the first time on Star-Lord in the Guardians ship set in 2021. Also in that set, we got these silver blasters for the first time. Remember, they were a little bit of a darker shade before, so definitely cool to get those in a new color. And we also got new dull molded legs with black on bottom and dark red on top, as well was a brand new torso for Star Lord, so all in all, this was a really nice figure. I forgot to mention too that the little hair curl piece debuted in this color for this set as well, so lots of new and somewhat exclusive pieces on this figure that definitely make it really cool. Technically, we did get the Star Lord helmet one more time in the 2021 LEGO Marvel Collectible Minifigure Series, where we got the What If T'Challa, which of course is where T'Challa is Star Lord. Now, I forgot to switch out the arms. These are upgraded arms that I put on from Catwoman from the LEGO Batman movie, but they look so good that they honestly just slipped by me. And too late now because I'm already filming. But how great are these dual molded legs with the rocket boosters on the side? The torso looks awesome. And of course, we can lift that helmet up for a very convincing. Chadwick Boseman head, and we even got a hairpiece for him as well, which is really, really cool. Rest in peace, Chadwick, and this was actually, I believe, his last role ever, and certainly his last role in the MCU, so it's pretty cool that it's immortalized for all of us fans to remember him with in this awesome minifig. Now, this one is sort of a gimme. This is the Advent Calendar version of Star-Lord, which appeared in the 2022 Guardians of the Galaxy Holiday Special Advent Calendar, and you'll see that it's very, very similar to the version from the Guardians ship in terms of the torso and head, but it technically does have different hair and less exciting legs, so even though it's less exciting, it technically counts as another figure on the list, so here it is. And finally, the last Star Lord to look at is the 2023 Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 Star Lord. Now, this uses the same Captain America style sweat back hair with the Chris. Pratt. I almost said Chris Evans head. <laughs> you can tell I don't script these videos. It's just fun to talk off the cuff and talk some memories. But anyways, the unfortunate thing about this figure is the torso and legs were all the same on all the Guardians from the Volume 3 sets, which is nice for the uniform aspect, but not so great for the unique factor. I mean, it definitely is really great printing, and you'll love to see printed legs in Marvel sets, but it definitely could have been a little more unique in another life. So that's going to round it out, and let's bring this to a close. All right, guys, well, let me know which Star-Lord is your favorite. I think that all of them are pretty good contenders, but man, that Infinity Saga one with the black boots is a real standout. Let me know what you guys think. Be sure to hit like and subscribe. Check out my other LEGO Guardians of the Galaxy videos, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Well, you made it to the end of the video. Thanks for hanging out with me today, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and maybe check out one of my other videos listed here.